Losing is not an option with me. Not being successful is not an option. When you make not being successful, uh, it, it, it's not an option for you, that's when your life is gonna change. Some of y'all are complacent and you cool with not being successful. I'm not cool with that. There's gonna come a day when you're gonna wish that you were given more. I'm talking about the day that you would have looked over your life and realized that you left more on the table than what you served. That's why every man and every woman must realize that there's something on the inside of you that has to be pulled out. And if you leave something in the tank, it'll become regret. You know, when, when, you, when you say you're gonna do something and then you follow through and you do it, not, not, not at the end when you, you, know, you cross the marathon, you finish it or, or your hands raised. I'm talking about right now. The small steps in between the big successes that everyone sees. No one sees this. Failure is the price of greatness. Failure is the highway to success. You've got to get in, like you've got to leave no stone unturned. You've got to develop this hardiness and resilience and anti-fragility so that you are willing to make mistakes. The discomfort of growth is always so much more value than the illusion of safety. It sounds like a lot of work. Growing sounds like a lot of work. Setting your intentions and goals sounds like a lot of work. Being an excellent person sounds like a lot of work, but what's the alternative? You get to the last hour of your last day and you look back on your life and you think about all the potential and genius you've left on the table. You think about the experiences you didn't have. Part of building is you get to know your strengths and you get to know your talents. That's the reward, not the outer win. If you never discover what's at the bottom of your tank, you'll never find out what the reserve tank looks like. If you're going win sprints, if you don't stop, you'll never get the second win. But if you get the second win, you'll get your second W-I-N win. You can't overcome the lack of effort but you can overcome losses. Everyone goes through a loss. Anyone that seems undefeated means they never went into battle. But if you can find someone who's willing to go into battle for, something that you can live for, a cause, a purpose, you will find that life is worth living because you found someone worth living it for and with. And when you've done that, now you have a right to say, I have a legacy, I have a purpose, I have a cause worth living for. But if you never discover that, you will sit in the end of your days and wonder what could have been, what might I have been. And the mirror is never kind in those days because you see the wrinkles, you see the wasted times, you see the lines that couldn't be defeated. Father time is undefeated, but what you do in time can be defeated. It's never too late for you to begin. You think that purpose or passion just kind of happens. That's not true. The biggest thing that people don't realize is that it's something you have to be super intentional about. When you wake up every day, you have an opportunity to bring passion into your life. You have an opportunity to decide how you're gonna show up with a sense of purpose today. And this lack of intentionality is the reason why you feel stuck. Should we be ambitious? Of course we should. But not selfishly, we should be ambitious enough to think that we could change the world, turn it into something divine, and we can. You're blessed to be in the position you're in, and even if things are tough, even if you know, you're know you going through a tough season right now, you're still blessed. And I know it's a tough, a tough way to think, but you are, because there's something in that season, there's something in that struggle that you're going through right now that is going to help you later in life. One of the most important things you could realize is that you're not alone. You're not the first to go through it. You're not gonna be the last to go through it. And oftentimes it happens. You just, you feel like you're alone and you feel like it's only you and you're in your bubble. Just gotta remember, hold on to that fundamental quality of faith. Have faith that on the other side of your pain is something good. I'm not good enough smart enough, I'm not talented enough to do that. Some people are. If you lack talent, you can't sit back and say, I start in half an hour. I can't do that. 
I gotta start now. And after I get back from starting, I gotta start again. Stop waiting, just start. What are you waiting for? The more you wait, the more you're in the vibration of waiting too. Mm -hmm. The vibration of waiting and the vibration of being are two very different vibrations because there's no future. The future, by the time the future gets here, it's this moment right now. So it's I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. I'm in the vibration of waiting. I'm in the vibration of waiting. It's just you stay there. The moment the reality shifts is the moment you start being it. What you do is you don't run away, you go forward. That's what, that's the main thing because the only thing that can make you do is drive you away from your purpose. You get right back on track and you keep moving forward and you keep trusting the process, and you keep grinding, you keep searching. That's what's gonna keep you on track. People are incapable of picking a direction and going. They observe the possibilities, they get paralyzed by all the possibilities, they refuse to move forward on all the possibilities, and then time passes them by. So it's very important that you make a decision and you go down that path, you commit to that path. Begin to look in the mirror and begin to make confessions. I am a winner. I am an overcomer. I am somebody that can do anything but fail. But the only thing that can stop you from failing is the belief that you still have time to waste. You must do it now. Because now is the time when winners step up. Now the time is when you change your lifestyle. Now is the time when you dedicate yourself. You don't wait on a calendar. You mark the date by today. This day is the day you change. This is your new year's. This is your new resolution. This is your moment. Because the calendar cannot mark your time. Only you can.